In comparison to the traditional form of education, distance education is a child. This child is trying to be accepted by a threatened adult, the traditional form of education. Most of the research being done on the child is done by an adult who has been unchanged for close to 200 years and is worried about its autonomy within its ivory towers. Education Policy Institute states, distance learning has been around for more than a century. Until recently, however, it is comprised almost entirely of traditional correspondence courses which typically offer low-cost education to working people. With the advent of computers and the dawn of the information age, distance education has moved into the mainstream and this alternate mode of education is beginning to influence the educational status quo. Society is ready for a change to education, but the stakeholders are not willing to let go of a system that has served us well for the two plus centuries. Education needs to reflect the reality of the students living in the information age. Prensky proposes that today's students are no longer the people our education was, system was designed to teach. A couple of quotes from high school students clarify how we feel about the current educational system. We have learned to play school. We study the right facts the night before the test so that we can achieve a pass passing grade, thus become successful students. It is not attention, attention deficit, I'm just not listening. When I go to school, I have to power down. According to Prensky, Digital immigrants are attempting to teach digital natives with methods that are no longer valid. The only choice made for educators to change the way they, is to change the way they teach. Unfortunately, he says, no matter how much immigrants may wish it, it is highly unlikely that digital natives will go backwards. In the first place, it may be impossible. Their brains may, be already, may already be different. Further to this point, Ferdick Ferd states teachers need to exist in a space that the students exist understand their culture you have to have credibility if you'll have no credibility excuse me if you're not where they are there they are according to Prensky using computers video games digital music players video cams cell phones and all other toys and tools of the digital age today's average college grad have less have spent less than 5,000 hours of their lives reading. Over 10,000 hours take talking on cell phones, but over 10,000 hours playing video games. Not to mention 20,000 hours watching TV and sending 200,000 emails or instant messages. The current approach to education has resulted in a dropout rate of 9.4, and only 28% of the grade 12 high school students believe that schoolwork is meaningful. 21% believe that their courses are interesting and a mere 39% believe that schoolwork will have any bearing on their access in later life. Since the partnership between personal computers and the internet and education, it has become less clear what defines the traditional form of education.